We all use our smartphones every single day, but what would happen if they were taken away? Well, this week, that's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna see if I can go a whole week without using my smartphone. So my phone pretty much drives my daily life. It's my wallet, it's my fitness tracker, it's my camera, and it's my music player. And it's also the thing that connects me to the rest of the world. So I knew from the start that this was gonna be a tough challenge. I started the week by putting my phone somewhere where I couldn't see it or easily pick it up. Out of sight, out of mind, right? On my first day, I was quite confident. I carried out my daily routine as usual. I did some exercise in the morning and then started work. It was nice to work all morning without any distraction, but I found myself so many times reaching for a phone that just wasn't there. That's when it became so blindingly obvious how habitual and instinctive my phone use was. Waiting for something to download? Look at my phone. Bring my coffee? Look at my phone. Can't sleep? Look at my phone. Eating breakfast? Look at my phone. Awkward conversation? I'll look at my phone. It's day two. It's currently 10 a.m. Had to check on my laptop because normally I would check on my phone. Just highlighting that. So last night as well, was in bed on my laptop. I was just sort of like scrolling and, you know, going on YouTube and Reddit and things. Just like literally just trying to get information into my brain. This is one of the things I did struggle with. Sometimes I'll only be on my phone because my mind just wants to consume. I'll keep scrolling and scrolling until I find something that gives me that hit of dopamine that I desperately need. So I'm out here trying to film B-roll with my camera, but actually, ironically, it would be easier to just use my phone and film on my phone because carrying around a clunky camera with you is like not ideal. It's all well and good having a, a camera to shoot on, but when you're out and about and you just want to film a bit of B-roll, it's so easy to just whip out your phone and film on that. And not being able to do that is really frustrating. But it's great that I've got a friend that can film me on his phone right now. It's so useful to just have a camera in your pocket that you can literally take anywhere. Taking one of these with you to lug around all the time, it's just not ideal. Um, but yeah. I've been quite lucky in the fact that I've been working every day. I live with people as well. So my evenings have been quite occupied. We've been watching films, playing video games, or just talking. It's quite nice to just fully engage with something without having that distraction there at all. It's weird not being able to talk to people. I think the thing I miss the most is that ease of access of being able to chat to my friends and family. Not being able to reach into my pocket, pull out my phone and, and just chat to people instantly is like, that's weird. Over the last seven days, this is definitely one of the things that I've struggled with. The core function of a phone, to communicate with people. Not being able to text friends or call up my parents has been strange, and it's definitely something that I took for granted. It's amazing to have these devices in our pockets that connect us to all the people we care about. I feel like this is the first time where I feel like I'm starting to miss out on things. You know, like talking to friends, group chats, Instagram posts. I can't just send someone a message and be like, hey, what's up, or see what my friends are up to. And in a time where we're like in a pandemic and in lockdown, that's really important to be able to communicate with people. So not being able to communicate with people is starting to take its toll on me a little bit. So although I've suffered the downsides of not having my phone, there have also been so many positives. So I've been more productive in my work day. I haven't had the distraction of notifications or even that temptation to just take a little break and scroll on TikTok. I spent my downtime reading and watching films with my full attention. And I actually think I've been sleeping better because I haven't had that blue glow that messes with my brain at night. Okay, so I'm on my lunch at the moment. So I thought I'd come out and get a bit of fresh air, although it is freezing right now. I kind of just found myself looking for things to do at this point. Swinging on a swing. Usually I would just sit at home and on my phone doing something, but I thought actually it'd be nice to come out and get a bit of fresh air. I've been doing that quite a lot recently over the last few days just because it's nice to get out and when you don't have anything else to you know, like you know stimulate your brain it's actually quite refreshing to just come out and go for a walk I forgot how great swings are really they're just magical let's go home <laughs> so the week is over and i have my phone back i won't lie to you and say i've discovered a whole new way of living and i no longer need it in my life because that would simply not be true this experience has shown me that I rely on my phone for so many aspects of my life. But this has become the norm for myself and many people, I'm sure. We have these amazing tools in the palm of our hands that allow us to create, share, discover, explore, and communicate. And I don't think I'm ready to give that up. 
you remember being in school and your teachers would say to you, you won't always have a calculator in your pocket? Well, guess what? We do. So I've been able to reflect on my phone usage. I've realized that it's important to take time away from social media and be mindful of those addictive and habitual behaviors that can affect me negatively. I suppose it's about balance and choosing the right moment, when to pick up your phone and when to put it down. I've become so aware of those compulsive checking behaviors and I just wanna tell myself, it's okay to leave it. Those notifications and Instagram posts aren't going anywhere. Thanks for watching. Could you go a whole week without your phone? Let us know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.